And now to our other top story tonight. Governor Green's housing chief, Nani Medeiros, is resigning, and he's blaming online and personal attacks sparked by MMA star BJ Penn. Her resignation is a major blow to the governor's affordable housing plan and his emergency proclamation, which got fierce pushback but also had passionate supporters. Our Mahail Ani Richardson joins us now with the details. Mahail? Well, Steph, under that housing emergency, Nani Medeiros was the lead housing officer of a working group that aimed to streamline affordable housing projects. She and the governor's plan were heavily criticized, but after the Lahaina wildfire, it became a flashpoint with claims of a West Maui land grab and conspiracy theories that fueled online anger. The idea that it is Nani Medeiros all alone making all of these decisions and so much power, it's absolutely not true. That's what Nani Baderos, Governor Green's housing chief, told HNN Investigates Daryl Huff after an angry meeting on Maui last month after the Lahaina wildfire. Part of the confusing part for me is there are 20, 30 different groups saying we are Lahaina, we are Lahaina, we represent, we represent, and I don't know if that's true, I'm not from the community, but I will listen to you. On her resignation, the governor blamed a barrage of in-person and online personal attacks. Quote, the bullying tactics with obvious violent undertones employed by Mr. Penn and his followers have no place in Hawaii. I won't tolerate anyone from my team or anyone in our state being treated this way. It is despicable. Then you guys work for us. B.J. Penn, MMA star and former Republican candidate for governor, took to social media to criticize Green and Medeiros. I know, because of how this meeting goes, that there are going to be hundreds of people who show up to yell at Nani. Let's stop yelling at Nani. Sterling Higa of Housing Hawaii's Future and a member of the working group supported the governor's emergency proclamation, wow. saying there's systemic racism in the current housing laws. Because we've got laws exclusionary zoning laws that are racist in their origin and explicitly designed to make housing unaffordable. While there's no official census data yet, Higa says the Lahaina wildfire made the exodus of Hawaii residents from the islands even worse. These policies were clearly designed to discriminate racially. One lawsuit against the state's housing emergency proclamation was from the Sierra Club and ACLU, claiming it was unconstitutional. This is just, you know, totally unacceptable. Now, some developers told Hawaii News Now they were hesitant on submitting housing projects to the working group because they feared lawsuits. I'm Ahialani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. Thank you very much.